Oh, this is interesting. Uh, this is kind of like a turn only lane, but people will come over here to go around the vehicles on the left here. And I'm wondering if that's what we're gonna be trying to do here. And then we're gonna merge right in. Okay, wow. That was so human-like and done perfectly. I did not expect that. I don't know if it realized that that was people turning or, or what, but it might have just got lucky there, but it handled it perfectly fine. All right, guys, thank you um, for coming back to another FSD video. Here we are on version 12.5.1.3. We are on a Hardware 4 Model Y 2024 vehicle. Uh, it is Friday, and we did actually get another update this week. Um, it is now rolling out 12.5 uh, to hardware three vehicles. So that should come with hands-free um, and basic 12.5. I think it's a lower model, um, but it should perform similar, I think they said. So that's super exciting. Uh, Hopefully people with a Model 3 start get or a Hardware 3 vehicle start getting that. Hopefully they're enjoying it. Um, I believe it's version 12.5.1.4. Um, I'm not too sure, but I believe that's it. Now this is going to be interesting because these people are trying to cross. I'm going to... Oh, okay. So car weights and... We're going to keep waiting here. So I did hit the accelerator because they were just kind of chilling out there. And then the car kind of was like, no, we're stopping because they started moving. And then uh, I let the car finish it off. But those situations, like those people just should not be crossing the road. They shouldn't even be in the road. Um, they should just be giving cars right away because we have a green light. But FSD has to handle, handle those situations. And FSD was just going to wait for them to cross because that's what... It looked like they were doing but the thing is i don't like the having them cross because they're not paying attention to oncoming traffic or people turning so the best case is for them to just wait until it's their turn but fsd handled it perfectly fine and it would have handled it even better if i didn't hit the accelerator um, but it's that little back and forth action where it's like okay you're not gonna go fine i'll go but then they start going and then you're like okay well now i gotta stop so yep but here we are just going through this green perfectly fine. No problems here. Hopefully we're gonna have a pretty smooth drive. Hoping for the best with FSD. We're still on version 12.5.1.3. We've been there for now two weeks about. I think two weeks on uh, Monday or Sunday. So getting a little old for these uh, updates now because they were rolling them out every week to all vehicles, but now it seems like this week is just gonna be hardware three vehicles, which is fine. I'm sure the team's making a lot of efforts over there to push out a, a new update. Um, maybe they're just worrying about hardware three vehicles and that's fine too. Um, you gotta remember that when I, when there's hardware five vehicles that I want them to take time to put into hardware four, so. It's just a little game that they got to play, and I think they're playing it pretty well. Car has to... So it's fine that it stopped there. I'm glad that it actually... We had that interaction where we could see if FSD would actually do what it needed to do. I think the right call here is to also stop because that was pretty late. Um, but for that vehicle, instead of stopping, I would have liked to see it just go around, but it probably didn't want to cross the yellow line and uh, whatever else, which is fine. It, it handled it fine. There wasn't a car too close to us. They slowed down too, so I think FSD handled that perfectly fine. Um, for this red light, or this yellow light, I probably would have just floored it to get through, but I think FSD chose the correct move and it should have stopped, and it did stop. So I'm actually happy with that move that they picked for that. And then we got a green light and we proceed right on through with no problems. Now, something interesting is sometimes the vehicle doesn't understand to get over to the left but it is today. Sometimes it wants to go to the right and then it has to reroute because I don't know if it's not sure of what lane goes straight here, but this looks like it's picking the right lane today. So that's pretty cool. We did have construction 
coming this way this morning, so I'm wondering if uh, there's going to be any construction or anything fun for FSD to try and handle here. Got cones on both sides of the road. Road's kind of like torn up, but that might just be normal for this road. So we do have our famous uh, blinking red which actually at two times in a row FSD has handled coming this way perfectly fine does its normal stop the stop sign and just continues on through yeah we definitely don't want to fall in that Oof! Got people parking on the side of the road in the grass over here on the left um, so yeah it's been handling it two times now coming this direction uh, so I really hope that it can handle it going that direction now uh, I will have my foot hovering over the accelerator if it does stop again so we don't get rear-ended. Uh, hopefully it just goes through like no problem though. I don't know if that's something that it's learned because we haven't got an update or if they're updating something in the back end that we can't see and it doesn't show as an update. So I guess we'll never know. But here we go for our first initial stop right here. And we go and then oh, we're stopping again. Okay. So... That really makes me think that it starts to understand because I've gone the I've never come this way on this build maybe once I don't think so but I've gone that way plenty of times and it kept failing 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 and then the last two times it actually just moved on through so now I'm thinking it's understanding that I'm hitting the accelerator there and that we shouldn't be stopping so now it's learned okay we're just gonna fall through here if that's true, that's crazy. That's awesome. That means the car's really trying to understand what's going on. And I've noticed with previous builds, and I've seen this in this build as well, where it seems to do better the longer it drives. Basically, like, it feels like there's a feedback loop where it's starting to understand on its own, offline learning. I don't know if that's true, but it definitely feels like that in in previous builds where the more time that it has to run the more time it starts to understand what's going on I don't know if it's like actually learning um, or if it's just my perception or if it's just how it's been working out maybe it's the weather I'm not really sure but it definitely does feel like it learns which would be awesome I mean I don't think we've heard anything from the Tesla team saying that yeah, the car's going to get better the more that it drives. But it also seems like it resets every time it gets a new build. Which has its own pros and cons, I guess. Because maybe they just can't transfer that data over when they do uh, new builds. So, it's very interesting concepts. I don't know. Ooh, that water's hot. Don't leave water in the car. Everyone should know that by now, though. But <laughs> so we will have the uh, upcoming weird intersection merge again, and we'll see how the car plays with that because that's an interesting intersection of which lane to choose. Kind of similar to our first where we opened up on, uh, where the car kind of ran and around people and then continued straight. It's kind of like that where. It, it's kind of a guessing game on if you should or shouldn't. And I don't know how the car is supposed to handle that because humans can't even handle that. Because it really is just a guessing game. And you just got to handle like what the outcome is. So if there's vehicles turning or not, I think that's probably where the uh, importance is. But should be getting this green. Here we are. Going to proceed on through. Hopefully we can get the next green as well. Hopefully we stay in this lane. Because there's also an intersect, like right after the next intersection, um, the two lanes come right together right after the intersection, and they come into this lane. So the car should just stay in this lane. There's no reason that we should be moving to that lane, and it hasn't been recently. But previous builds, it would move to that lane and then cross the intersection and then try have to merge back in. And since it's at an intersection, most cars are trying to all merge at the same time. It's just a mess. I always just stick to this lane, follow on through. That's fine. It also allows people to turn right because then we're blocking the right turn lane. 
meaning people can't turn on red, which there's no reason for that either. I am very excited to see how uh, 12.5 performs on Hardware 3. Hopefully we get to see some uh, videos of that out soon. Um, you've probably already watched them by the time this video goes live. So let me know in the comments below, is Hardware 3 as good as Hardware 4 still? Are they still performing the same? Because I think this is the first version where they're actually going to be running different. I think there's a different model running on Hardware 3 versus Hardware 4 for the first time. That's, that's interesting. This is where we might start seeing the spread of what hardware version you're on. And I think that puts into huge, like, go get hardware 4 now before this becomes RoboTaxi because I think it's going to be really hard to get hardware 4. I think the prices are going to go up. And right now they're doing FSD transfer, I believe which is huge, where you can just trade in your car and then still get FSD on your new Hardware 4 vehicle. We know for a fact that Hardware 4 will perform better than Hardware 3 at some point, even if Hardware 3 catches back up to Hardware 4. Hardware 3 will stop performing as good as Hardware 4 at some point. There, it's just how it's going to have to work. There's just less compute, and um, there's less, less pixels, I believe, on the cameras. So there's just less data that it can actually process and see. So be very interesting to see uh, how that turns out. So now we gotta proceed straight here. All these cars on the, the right hand side gotta merge in with us. So we gotta allow for cars to come in. Now, it feels like the Tesla is like, hey, come on, but it doesn't feel like we're giving them enough room. You know, I think that was fine. I think we should have slowed down a little bit more to give him a little bit more room so he didn't have to feel like he had to accelerate in front of us. Um, but it's fine. But you see why you should stick to this lane. There should be no one in that lane unless you're turning right at that intersection. Or there, there's like a Wendy's or something over here, like right after the intersection. And when people do that, that's fine because they're going that way before the merge happens. But if you're planning to merge back into this lane, you should just never come over. You should never go in that lane in the first place. But people do. That's why you can't wait for everyone to just have robo-taxis and then we don't have to deal with people that are just idiots. Ugh. Human mistakes, you know, everything like that. I think the roads would be a lot safer if every car was a robo-taxi. But we'll see if that ever happens. So here's that weird intersection. It's not going to be any weird... Oh yellow and we do proceed like normal that was a perfect call it, it's already red so yeah it timed that perfectly um but that was that weird intersection where like if there's cars turning then we should go around but if there's not cars turning then we should stay in this lane so i mean it didn't go in that lane it did stay in the lane that it's supposed to so i guess it did complete that correctly so that's awesome but Nothing really exciting from here on out, so I'm going to call it, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys want to see, what you want improved. Um, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one.